we've also heard that Boris Johnson was opposed to what he described as, as it were, federal decision making. Um, he felt um, that it would be wrong, uh, and I'm paraphrasing a pa as part of his witness statement, wrong for, as it were, himself and the leaders of the devolved nations to meet together to decide on measures. Rather, he should simply decide um, what should happen, uh, and the devolved nations um, should be informed and attempts made to accommodate them. The Prime Minister felt very strongly there needed to be one UK message being pushed out. Um, and there were various disputes, with, particularly with Scotland, over some of that messaging. Each step of the lockdown um, release um, required some change to rules or regulations we, in one form or another. And to try and get agreement amongst all the devolved authorities uh, was, was very difficult. By and large, Wales and Northern Ireland went along with, with, with Britain, uh, with England. But with Scotland, it was always that whatever the announcement was, Scotland wanted to do it a, a day or two earlier than England, or a week later, or it never wanted to do it at the same time. And that created a great deal of distrust um, within the, the organisation and a lot of frustration. The starting point, perhaps, is that health was a devolved issue yes. in each of the devolved nations. So they were entitled, more than entitled, they were, they were under a duty to make their own decisions on health issues within the different nations. I mean, that, that, that must be right. That's right. And in each of them, there was a chief medical officer, and the chief medical officer for England, Chris Whitty, used to have regular meetings with his opposite numbers, the chief medical officers of those devolved administrations. That, I think, all worked pretty smoothly and pretty straightforwardly. It was the politics that was always the problem. And this, it seemed to us in Downing Street that it didn't matter what the decision was, um, Scotland would always want to do it slightly differently. To England. The cooperation was less effective in the case of the Scottish administration, and then, as you say, keen to announce measures either before or after the rest of the UK, and then this, for reasons which appeared more political than data-driven. The Scottish administration did have the political authority and duty to make those decisions. Um, so what do you mean by political in that Paragraph. I think there was a real desire by um, the Scottish government to always show that they were not doing the same as England and that they were running a different um, operation in Scotland and that they were, in their view, um, doing things better. Um, it was just, but it always almost seemed that there was a desire just to be different. We've seen evidence that, in particular, Mark Drakeford um, in the autumn. Uh, of 2020 called for there to be meetings, a JMC or a, a COBRA meeting <laughs> di on different occasions. Um, and, and the answer, at least on occasions, was, well, no, we won't have a meeting of the heads of the government, but Michael Gove will meet with you on a Zoom call. Um, that's what I mean by perhaps reluctance of Mr Johnson to engage in that type of, of meeting. Do, do you think that this, this sense of frustration could have been one cause of that. Yes. I mean, I think there was a constant feeling by him that whatever he was going to say, they were going to play politics with it and do something slightly different. Uh, there was a request, was there not, from the Scottish government that, um, the, stay, that the, the new Stay Alert campaign, which was being used in, in, in replacement for the old Stay at Home campaign, shouldn't be used in Scotland because it didn't... Uh, reflect the policies being pursued by the Scottish Government. Ultimately, the recommendation was that um, the Scottish Government's request should not be uh, met, that the, that the campaign should be run nationwide, and I think we've heard from an earlier witness that that's what happened. Um, wasn't the Scottish Government, with its devolved responsibility for health, entitled to ask the London Government not to broadcast a campaign in Scotland that didn't reflect the Scottish Government. Yeah, but when you've got national um, newspapers, national television stations, national things, you can't suddenly start having different messages. Given the devolved responsibility of the devolved administrations, 
if the English campaign wasn't something that they were happy with, wasn't that a reason not to run the campaign at all? But you can't not run campaigns through, through the course of um, the pandemic. Um, there were a series of campaigns being run um, in, in newspapers, on television, um, and there was a very strong view coming from the media side at number 10 was that you had to have one simple message that goes to everybody. 